so guys um i'm actually happy that i went for the retouching i actually went to relax my hair my hair was already overdue i think the last time i retouched my hair was was in um um january and as um i think five months ago or four months ago so my hair you can imagine how due my hair was like <laughs> i could literally not comb it i've actually been working weeks 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 for the longest now and i think it is time your girl switch up it's time i change my look i really want to change my looks one thing one thing here that um gets me <laughs> discouraged when i try and make my hair you know and look all pink and fly is because i am always at home <laughs> like i have i don't even have where i'm going to let me just say that the only places i go to often is the market and the church <sighs> really after those two places i really don't have any places that i visit no friends that i visit you know no friends visit me so i am always at home and i'll be like how am i going to spend all this money on making my hair just to come and sit at home and be looking and be watching tv <laughs> so i'm always very discouraged and that is why i usually wear my wigs a lot like when i'm going to the market or when i'm going to the church you know they are easy to put on i just put them on and off i go and when i'm back again i remove them <sighs> so guys i'm actually going for a minor surgery in few days time this is the story behind it um i have a keloid or keloid whichever i have it on my ear lobe my right ear lobe um it is as a result of wrong piercings actually um a few years ago i had several piercings on my ear and <coughs> and unfortunately for me they all went bad basically all of them went bad I don't know why but um they all went bad this particular one eh, on my right ear lobe is constantly getting big i've tried several uh, medications you know you know a lot of persons have actually prescribed a lot of things snake oil um python oil tea tree oil different kinds of oil i've tried them and instead of it to go smaller it is actually getting bigger so right now it is quite big and let me just say the truth <laughs> this is actually one reason again apart from the one i previously mentioned this is actually another reason why i don't like making my hair i don't like i just don't like revealing the keloids because it gets i'm always embarrassed and <laughs> i'm just always embarrassed whenever i reveal it so me making all these airs air styles that um would reveal it i'd rather just put on my wigs and you know go go to wherever i'm going to so um this keloid is actually one of the reasons and i think it is high time or i thought it was high time i removed it and then i visited a dermatologist and i had to book an appointment with the dermatologist so i could just get rid of it i'm tired of it i, I don't want to see it again um the dermatologist actually told me that it will require a little surgical procedure which i've already booked anyway um, with the plastic surgeon to remove it and you know just get it over it but they also told me one disadvantage um or one thing that is um common with keloids is that they tend to always or not always they tend most times they tend to um be your core so i don't want mine to be your core and that is why i'm going for this um this plastic surgeon is it came highly recommended so which is why i'm going for it and then after the procedure i'm going to do some aftercare to just ensure that it doesn't be your core it doesn't come back again that it is gone and gone for good because that's what i want i don't want it again i want it gone for good actually i have smaller smaller pumps on my ears um those piercings actually they all went bad and as a result some of them resulted to little little bumps in my ear i plan to also get those removed if possible but not surgically 
if they could give me any if this plastic surgeon could give me any injection to just soften it because they are really very hard when i touch them to just soften it i would prefer that but the main reason why i'm going is for this big keloid i just want it out um and i'm about to go for the um procedure in few days time i'm actually going to be showing you guys the keloid that uh, will be in that video where i visit the plastic surgeon again so i'm basically going to be showing you guys the before and after picture of the um keloid that'll be like the before and after picture of you know getting the keloid removed so that'll be basically it um it's just a minor procedure i'm <laughs> I'm really very nervous because this is the first time it's going to be the first time I'm ever going to get um, any kind of surgery whatsoever on my body on any part of my body so I'm really very nervous and at the same time I'm also happy because um, eventually this is going to be a thing of the past for me and I'm going to get my confidence back <laughs> this thing eh, it has actually stripped me off <laughs> my confidence in a way so i'm happy i'm going to be getting my confidence back and um i think it's just like a mixed feeling for me and i just want to get it over with just want to get it done and over with and i'm happy <laughs> i'm happy that i'm going to be going for it and that'll be it guys <laughs> thank you for watching video um there's this thing that i uh, observed here yeah? I get like over 100 views in some videos and less than in others but I don't usually get enough likes I get like 4 likes on a video that has up to like 50 views I get like 10 likes on a video that has up to like 100 views and it is not so good guys please and um, Pico try and be engaging on the videos Pico try and comment and like my videos so guys I'll see you in my next video don't forget okay right now click the like button now click it and say something nice about this video yeah in the comment section people i hope you have done that already eh i hope you have done that and i'll see you in my next video bye